Starting right off, you both have a theater background and you're working on this film. Is there a difference when you prepare for a character for theater versus for a film? And I'll start with you, Celia. Honestly, for, for me personally, no. I think at the end of the day, finding, getting to the truth of a character and, and, and getting to the soul of a character, that's all the same work. And then it's just a matter of style and, and the experience is like totally, totally different. But at the end of the day, the work is really the same. So I think it's, I think, I think it's also cool to come from our background because you get to like, we prepare for it as if we're gonna perform the whole movie in that one day, you know? And so it, it's cool coming into it feeling like I, you have a bird's eye view of the whole story. So yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm so glad I have my background coming into this experience. Yeah. And Josh, the same for you? Or uh, yeah, I, yeah, I agree with everything, you know, Soleil said. I think the approach is the same, the execution differs, and the collaboration looks and or feels a little different because mm -hmm. of the nature of the process. What do you two love about um, Bayou and, I don't want to say Bucket, Leanne? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> a okay, yes. Uh, yeah, okay. That's good, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Gotta watch that. Yeah. But what do you love? What do you love about them as a couple? I think it's the freedom that they provide each other. That there is this element of like not being able to be yourself truly around anybody else. And then you find this person who all of a sudden, like, you know, the air around them, you can just breathe a little easier. And that's what these characters were to each other. And I think that's a beautiful thing to explore as both like we see them as children, we see them as fully formed adults with fully fledged lives and I know for, for my character, um, in, a, in a life with not a lot of choices and not a lot of options, to then be, you know, at, at, when she finds her love again later in life, that reignited hope and how, how important it is to feel that freedom in your life and how, how love just opens us up and makes life worth living and how important it is to fight for it, really. Yeah. So in working on a period piece, something that took place in the 40s, where the world was a very different place in some ways, what do you look for for inspiration in characters? Because what I enjoyed especially about these two in the film overall is that sometimes in period pieces currently, they feel very modern, and that is a choice, but this felt grounded in the time. So for you as um, actors looking for inspiration points for these various characters. What do you take from them or what do you pull from your own life that you can relate with them? Uh, I love being outside um, and a lot of this happens outside. I love nature, you know, and it's something about humanity in, in its present form that doesn't feel as outside as it used to, especially during those eras, during that era specifically. And um, so I was able to just use the, the fact that we were on location in Savannah and how beautiful it was. It was very grounding, you know, and it fed uh, my, my emotional health, well-being, and my emotional state for the character in those moments, just to see the 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 what's, what's what's the trees called? Whatever those trees are, oh, um, the moss, Sp Spanish, Spanish moss. moss. To see yeah. it, like all of that informs everything that's happening in the moment, and it made it easy, you know. And I just it was beautiful. Yeah, and and just watching old movies, like I took a lot of inspiration for who Leanne becomes, um, kind of. For, the backstory being that she was watching all these old movies and, and, and learning how to be, you know, a white woman by way of like the 40s movie stars, you know, like that's what you emulate and how you look and how you stand and how the gestures you make and how you speak and, and that's how you become a polished woman of society. And so that, that was cool to, to um, yeah, that, a lot of research in that area. A lot of fun. Mm -hmm. fun. Very fun.